Are you needing to create a gym registration form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you are in the fitness industry, maybe you're a gym owner or maybe part of the staff who is in charge of fitness memberships, this is going to be a really simple way for you to create that registration form. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna head up to the top left-hand corner. Let's go ahead and create form. And there's two different ways that we can do this. We can either start from scratch if we know exactly what we want to be included in the form and how I want it to look, or if we need to get those creative juices flowing, we can take a peek at the use template option and we can do a quick search for gym registration. And we can see that we have three different forms to choose from. Let's go ahead and take a look at this middle template. So we can see that we have their name, gender, email, we have that application fee, and then we have the credit card processor. So that gives us a good idea of what people are asking at other places. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna head back Let's create a form and let's go ahead and start from scratch. Now for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the classic form over the card form. And let's go ahead and get the name of this form changed to gym registration. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this heading. And now we can start dragging in the elements that we want. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose to add a form element. And of course, we definitely want their full name, email, and their phone number. And maybe we want this to be the best text number. Now let's go ahead and create some fields that are more specific to a gym membership registration. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in short text and I would like to know their height. And I'm gonna click on properties and let's head over to advanced. I'm gonna put a placeholder to show them exactly the format that I'm looking for, five, nine, to show them that is the format that I am looking for. Next, let's go ahead and add in number and we can have their weight. And again, we can do that same thing and we can have 160. And let's go ahead and add in gender, give them some options. We can do another number for their age and we can leave 23 for that. And let's go ahead and do another number and let's say goal weight. We can come back up here and we can put current weight here. We can change that placeholder to be 140. Now, another thing that we can do with JotForm is we have access to a lot of different widgets. So again, over on the left-hand side, you can see we're currently in the basic form elements. We can actually jump over to widgets and we can do a search for BMI. And we can see right here, we have a BMI calculator and we can do calculate your BMI. And now we can add in some payment options. So again, over on the left-hand side, we're currently in the widget settings. We can jump over to our payments and we have more than 30 payment processors. So you can choose the one that's going to work best for you. For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose PayPal business. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect. And I can see that we are on live mode in USD. And yes, we want to sell products and or services for this case. And we can also toggle on the debit or credit card, or we can even not show the PayPal option. Let's go to continue. And now we can start adding our products slash monthly services, which is going to be what we're gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and create a monthly membership. We can do one month, three months, six months, and a year. And we'll say the monthly membership price We'll just do $30. And if you wanna add in a description, definitely do that. Add in what that's going to include with their membership. If you wanna add an image, we can do that as well. Let's go ahead and save. So now we can see we have a monthly membership for $30. And go ahead and go back. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the gear. Let's duplicate. We'll edit this and we'll do a three month membership. And we'll make this one $80, perfect. And then we'll duplicate this one again. Make this one a six month, 150, and then we'll do a year. All right, we can go ahead and save. Now, if you're going to be utilizing this as a standalone form, all we need to do now is fit this into our branding. So over on the top right hand corner, we can click right here where it says form designer, and we can change the overall page color, which is going to be the gray area around our form. And then we can change the form color, which right now it is white. This is where our questions live. 
we need to change our font color or that input background, we can do that. We can even change the question spacing. We can make it a little bit smaller and we can change the overall font if we want to. Perfect. However, for this example, because we're going to be embedding this on a website next, I'm going to go ahead and choose the page color to be transparent. And then the same thing for our form color. Let's go ahead and make it transparent. So that way it's going to blend in seamlessly with our website. So now I'm going to go ahead and head up to publish. Then over on the left hand side, I'm going to choose to embed and I'm going to copy this embed code. Now, depending on where you're going to be embedding this, make sure you choose the right one for your website. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and use Wix and it just needs the basic JavaScript code. So I'm going to go ahead and head up to our website editor. I already have one that is ready to go for our gym registration. I just created a blank page and over on the left hand side, I'm going to go ahead and choose to add elements. I'm going to come down to embed code and embed HTML. Then I'm going to paste in that code. We'll do update. Then we can make our form fit our website perfectly. All right, good to go. Let's go ahead and do a quick preview. Perfect. Let's get this form filled out. And here you can see it went ahead and calculated our BMI for us. We're going to go ahead and do that monthly membership. And again, we can choose to pay with PayPal or we can pay with a credit or debit card. So I'm going to go ahead and do the debit or credit card and we'll submit and we are good to go. So now if I jump back over to my JotForm account and we're currently in the form builder up in the top left hand corner, I'm going to click on where it says form builder. I'm going to jump over to our table so I can see this form submission. And so here we see Pamela, all of her information, we see her BMI, we see the membership she chose, and we can see that she paid by card fields. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to use JotForm to create your gym registration forms, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.